Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. So we got this Ad Motor uh, cargo trailer a few days ago, and actually early early this week, and I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. But it's in the way, so I figured now's a good time to go ahead and get this thing assembled, check it out, see what it's all about, so that I can use it to go shopping because I need to go to Costco soon, and that's the whole point of this, to be able to, well, hello, Jack. Jack's making his grand entrance. Uh, I want to have this ready to go so I can go to Costco and, and buy some bigger stuff, right? So here we go. Let's uh, figure this out. So I got the garage door closed because it was starting to get warm today. Look out, Jack. You're going to get squished. Go. Especially if this strap breaks. So, uh, yeah, it was getting warm, so we closed the door. Decided to keep it in here, stay in here, keep it a little cooler. Still got those, so those guys right there, two little scooters. Um, I have to coordinate with the kids because I need a couple of riders to go with me, right? And so it's either going to be Emma and Devin, or possibly Amanda and her boyfriend. So, don't know. How that's going to turn out yet. But that's got to get done real soon. Oof. Oh, yeah. One of the reasons why I chose this. Look at that. We have Kenda Fat Tires. So, is a fat tire necessary for a cargo trailer because it just adds weight? Hmm. The reason I bought this is a couple of reasons. Um, really, it came down to it had 150 pound capacity. And I had fat tires. And the reason I wanted fat tires is as a kid, you know, I had a bike that had the skinny tires on it. And I was always getting flats, always getting flats. And because I know I'm going to be traveling longer distances uh, with this cargo trailer, I didn't want uh, just a standard skinny tire like, for instance, over here on the Toby trailer. The Toby trailer has these itty bitty little tires. And I'm concerned to go very far with it. One, because of the wheel is missing a bearing and you know I need to replace the whole thing but number two it just the the tire doesn't give me a lot of confidence being that skinny and that small of a tire uh, going any kind of distance carrying any kind of weight so that's why I primarily chose this one here because you, hard to find a cargo trailer that's got big tires most of them have small ones yeah so let's take a look open this all up all right, 20 by four, Kenda's kind of hard to argue with a Kenda tire, right? So, yeah, those look good. Let's get that out of here, move that light over, get some tools out so I can have access to them. So I'm gonna need some tools, give myself some room, grab my chair, you might want that. I like this little chair a lot. Okay. Let's see here. So we got another one. And that's kind of silly. It was zip tied on there and it just comes right off. Nice big axles. And I guess we can pull that one off over there. It probably just slides right off. There we go. And maybe I'll just keep the trash in here. Here we have tow bar so there's a tow bar and it yeah right we'll figure that out here's some parts nope no parts just trash this is the least favorite part of this uh, this uh, trike uh, trike listen to me Whew. uh this cargo trailer and that is you only get one color option when it comes to the bag and red is i mean okay it's i guess it's a kind of a good idea because it's bright color and it helps draw attention to you um but you know i like i'm not ocd about it but i like things to match a little bit you know and so i'm kind of I, I i consider those kind of things for instance if i wanted to take this trailer and hook it up to the uh the Truxus explorer right here you know, I mean, it's it's two different 
two different reds. It really clashes. You know, this would probably work for something that's gray or black because, you know, gray, black, white is more of a neutral color. Um, and so it probably goes with red okay. But I just wish they had had a black bag is all I'm saying. Black or gray. Keep it kind of neutral. So maybe that's something they'll do in the future. All right. That loose. Just scuffed up. I don't think it's I don't think it's damaged in any way. So this is the main part of the trailer. Um yeah, what is that? What kind of material is that? I don't even know if that's going to be waterproof, is it? What is it? You know, that resembles like the uh, the cheap backing you get on a piece of furniture, like a bookshelf or something. But it does feel a look kind of plasticky, so it might be... I mean, it's not, it's not paper, and I'm sure it's some kind of plastic, I guess. So if it were to get wet, it'd probably be fine. Here's the trailer manual. Let's get that in here so you can see. Add motor trailer manual. I've got one page. Kind of hard to read, but... Um, I think we can figure it out. If not, we'll come back to that. So we have pins down here that we can unlock. Oh, that's a... That one's pretty stiff. And one on that side. Oh my goodness, those are stiff. And that allows us to open that up. And then we could pin it back again. Which we might as well go ahead and do. We'll do one for now. Just hold it there. And then, oh, so we have another one here. I guess I'm not so sure about. I don't know about this design. That's one of the things I was kind of questioning a little bit. You know, is it going to be useful? Is it going to be a hindrance? So this one is designed so that... Can I move that one up? Not yet. So, well, let me get this up and then I'll explain it to you. Hold on. Hang tight. In here. Oh, that doesn't need to be there. Is that in the way? No. There we go. Well, let me go ahead and pin this so I have at least one in there. All right, so here's the design. First of all, it, it folds up, right? But then you have these little gate-looking thingies, that, little supports that you can open up. There. You can open up, and then you have this nice bigger cargo space. Um, and it's got ends to keep things from falling out. But then you have this skinnier one right here, which is maybe six inches or so, open on both ends so you can carry something that's nice and long. So... You know, if you're going to the beach and you want to throw your, your surfboard on there or something, you can, right? Um, I'm just saying that there's options. Or maybe the hardware store and you're going to get a couple of pieces of wood. You could you could do that. So I kind of like that idea. But I don't know that I'm really going to use that too much. Because I don't have... I just don't have anything long I can think of that I'm really going to be shopping for on this. So, what may end up happening is, I don't know what's going to happen yet. I don't know. Don't speak before you know. Let's get this off right here. So, each of these little gates, I'm just going to call it a gate. Uh, it's got a thumb screw on the end, and you put it through the hole on this one. And then pin it back so that's how it stays open. So it's nice and secure. I wished there had been some type of option to remove this center bar and still have a gate or something on both ends so you had one big solid opening versus having two smaller compartments. Honestly, that would have been a lot more useful to me. Now that I see it, I realize that. So, this can come off. Um, it's just bolted on. 
first of all, it, we can lay it down so we can un looks like we can unbolt it down here. Um, we could just make it lay down the way it was. And we rolled in here. I'm gonna do something with those gates. Maybe lay this down like that. Does it lay down? Yeah. See? <clears throat> so that works. Pretty good, anyway. Because I can lay that down. But you do have these big brackets and things sticking up. Uh, three inches or so. And then, of course, unless you take this completely off, it's going to be laying down here as well. So if you need to put stuff on top of it, you know, that may or may not work, depending on what you're hauling, I guess. These can open back up now, but then there's no way to to support them to the other side because they're not long enough. So what's going to happen is I'm probably going to, you know, I would probably Velcro those in the open position. Maybe leave that in the down position and just use it like this. Then I'll need to put like a maybe a cargo strap or something around the back side here to keep stuff from falling out. I don't know. I have to think this through. Maybe I should have thought it through a little bit closer, a little bit longer before I purchased it. So this, uh, this part right here rubs a lot right there on that bracket. So that's, I don't know if that's preventing it from opening up all the way. Or if it's just simply the holes. All this is is just a steel tube. And honestly, what I'm probably going to do... Yeah, that pin is real close. It's just not quite lined up. What I will probably do is just drill that hole. Make it slightly bigger. Just to make sure it goes in there. Now it's going in. It's just tight. See that? Pretty easy fix if you have a drill. Just get you a drill bit that's almost the same size or, or the same size and then you can waller it out just a little bit. Clean up those holes just a little bit so it'll easy to go on in and out. See if this one is any easier, about the same. Oh yeah, see that one's the same. That one slips right in. So an easy fix, no big deal. Um Alright. These wheels, um, pretty simple. So we have the axle, and we have a, a hole right here on the axle. And all we do, same thing, we just gotta pin it. Get that off. That's a spring, that's a little different. So we're going to stick it on there. And Oh, so that's not going to rotate because it's, you know, you dummy, it's an axle. So we've got to try to line up the holes the best we can. Yeah, this might be the hardest part of the whole process. Right here. Yeah, I think it's going to be the hardest part of the whole process. We don't have a lot of room to work back there. Huh, look at that. Uh, this is going to be the hardest part of the whole process. Uh, no, I got those holes lined up perfectly the first time. So, how about uh, them apples? I don't know if I like that though. All right. So our axle, our wheel is pinned, and it's not going to go anywhere now. So it's not even going to wiggle jiggle like the Toby trailer does. Pet dog. All right. So now let's just flip this thing over. See if the other side. You know, let's take it out of that box. It's gonna be easier. Get out of the way, box. Let's see if this side's gonna give us any trouble. Take out the pin. Behind the hole, the hole is right there. And the hole. This is actually easier so you can kind of look and line up the holes, make sure everything looks good. Looks good. 
slide it down. And see if we got it. I feel right. There we go. Now it's latched. All right. So let's see what else is in this box, maybe. So you don't throw something away. Nope. Nothing there, the trash. I get that out. Where are you going? What's going on here? Hello? <laughs> Reminds me of the merry-go-round back in. Oh my goodness. The little school that I went to. Little country school. Alright. Let's get back over here. Stop playing, Richard. Um, Alright. What's that? Let's see what we got going back here. Well, look at that. That's kind of slicky slicky. So this is the rear. And they give us a kickstand. So that if, you know, you want to put support on the trailer so it doesn't, you know, you're putting something heavy on it, loading it up or whatever, it doesn't, doesn't flop up with you, you know, woo, like that. There, I'm trying to do that motion and you couldn't see it in the camera. So that's kind of nice and it just folds up out of the way. I wonder if, wait a minute, is that the rear? No, that's the front. That has to be the front because this is where you connect the tow bar oh okay so I get it so so let's say you have it loaded with stuff and it's kind of heavy and you need to disconnect it you could always pull that down and at least support the front end right because the front end is a little bit longer than the back end and that way it provides support flip it over Yeah. I don't like it. Let's get a little tow bar here. So this. Oh. Let's set this down. We got more of these little pins. You know, this isn't just steel on steel. They gave you a a little insert. Oh, there you go. See? There's got a little insert, so make sure that little insert, the holes are lined up as well. But it's kind of nice having that little insert because it um, helps make it a more tight fit, I guess. Look at that down. On that side. To there. Now, see, these little pins will hold, hang down too, so that could be a problem if you're trekking through the woods. Because, I'll show you in a second. Get that on there. Yeah, so if you're trekking through the woods, you don't necessarily want these guys dangling because you could get caught in tree branches and grasses or stump or something. This is dangling, so let's see. This can just get stored right here so we don't lose it. So the underside is just a... Uh, Thin metal, um, uh, welded on in a grid pattern. So we got, you know, maybe five inches, five inch squares here. So you got three going down here, and then you got a row of one, two, three, four going across, and that's what provides the support. And then you have this really thin backer board, whatever this is. So. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about this is it, it helps keep the trailer lighter, so it's not real heavy. Uh, but I could foresee this. I mean, it's already bubbled up a little bit here in the edge. I could foresee that at some point maybe wanting to replace this with, with uh, you know, a quarter-inch sheet of plywood or something maybe. That's it. Man, our trailer is hooked up and ready to go. So there you go. 
So if you do have weight on here, right, you don't necessarily want a lot of weight on that tow bar. So that's where you'd want to reach in here and grab this stand and do something like that. And it's just spring activated, so you just grab it and push it up. And pull it back down. Huh. And these are regular like bike tires. These are Kenda Crusades. Wire bead, I've seen those before. They're behind me. Inside dimensions would be about uh, 17 and a half on the inside. And then lengthwise it'd be something about like 31, 32. So up here we have there's the the hitch that gets attached to the bike. And we have an extra you know security strap to make sure if for some reason the hitch comes loose, then you're still attached. And we have, just like on the Toby trailer, it's got a spring between these two parts that allows it to flex. Okay, not, not a tremendous amount of flex, but it does flex. And we have this right here, which is, um, what's that for? It's an extra bolt for something. It's for going in here. I mean, it, it fits here, but that's not where that needs to be. Yeah, so that's it. I'm digging it. So let's see what's the overall length with that tow bar on there. That really sticks out there. So that's about 68 inches. 68 inches. And a little problematic because storage of this thing is going to be a problem because it doesn't fold up. I wished it folded up right here. Whoa, what am I looking at? You guys aren't looking where I'm looking. I wished it folded right here. Um, the only thing you can do is, you know, pop out both of those pins and take the tow bar completely off. Whereas, I believe, we can go over here and look at the Toby trailer. Ah, I can do the same thing over here. I can no see the over here in the toby trailer it's open um this part of the bracket is open they have one bolt down here holding everything on permanently and then just one pin here that when you pop it open pull that out it allows the tow bar to fold okay so it makes it smaller so it'd be nice if we had a bolt and pin on the cargo trailer did the same thing and then allows you to just take out one pin to fold it but do you see why it's not going to work do you understand that let me put this back on this bracket is open that allows room for this thing to to uh to fold right here over here we don't have that we don't have a box um a box bracket we just have a tube that slides inside of so there's no way to make it fold in. Yep. That's a bummer. Yeah. Nice trailer though, overall. Yeah. All right. So, oh, we're not done. We aren't done. Let's see how this is. What is this? How is this going to fit? That is for that side. How does it attach? <sighs> Going over the stop bar. If I attach it to the Velcro, I gotta pull this bag up so much that now it's not on the ground, mostly, but not, not all the way on the ground. So I could have used like an extra inch or something. Or the fabric or the velcro could have been an inch inch taller. Let's see how this one fits. I may have spoke too soon. We might be able to make this work. 
Yeah, see on this side the Velcro is attached, but the, the the edge of the bag doesn't sit down on the on the bottom down here. It's it's raised up about an inch. So the bag didn't need to be any bigger. They just needed to place the Velcro about an inch taller. Is all that needed to happen. Do the back side. That's designed to go just right over the top. Make it uh, waterproof. So it goes over it goes over these bars and everything. And then there's well there's one Velcro strap here, so we can go around that bar. There must be a Velcro strap up here somewhere. There it is. So we can How about that? It's kind of a mess. We didn't need a stinking manual. We know what we're doing around here at e-bike reviews and adventures. Where every day is some type of an adventure. Let's get this out of the way. What would be nice, what would actually be real nice. I think I hear the trash guy. Go open the garage door. I do hear the trash guy. Is he already here? Yep. Hold on. I don't want to hold this out for another week. <laughs> Hey, partner. I'll trade you. I'll take that. You take this. Thanks. Appreciate it, buddy. You too, now. Glad I heard him coming. All right. What was I saying a minute ago? It would be nice if they made a uh, um, some type of bag insert or something for pets, right? Because I could put Toby back here and I haul him on this big old guy and I'm sure he'd be happy with that as opposed to the little Toby trailer. <sighs> Somebody has one. Uh, Rad Power Bikes. Rad Power Bikes has a cargo trailer and then they have a pet carrier that's separate and you can, you know, use it as a cargo or you can set your pet carrier inside there and strap it on and then use it as a as a pet carrier trailer, which is kind of nice. But I don't remember the price. For both pieces it was like I think it was like 700 bucks or something. Nope, not doing that. So $350 for this right here. Um, yeah, it would have been a good idea, I think, if they had provided a reflector. But that's no big deal. We could get a piece of reflective tape or something, put it right down here on the bottom. So that might be, that might be appropriate. Um, supposed to be able to... I carry 150 pounds, and I would say probably can. Um, yeah, I like it. Other than I wish this was folding. Other than that, I think I like it. Don't know how much I'll use this though. But the bag only fits that compartment. I don't like that. All right, well, that's it. Uh, it is what it is. We have what we have. And, you know, with a little time, I might be able to, between myself and Mrs. Adventure, who is a fixer and a modifier of all things ever created, uh, she might be able to come up with a better solution on something we can do to configure this differently. So we'll have her take a look at it, too. But that's going to be it for this video. If you're interested in the Admotor trailer, I'm going to put a link to it down below. You can go check it out for yourself. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Take care.